just say, oh, I could never do that, meaning improvisation, on stage or off. And we're able to come back and, and say to them, well, you do that every day because your life is not scripted. You've got Lois, you've got Lois, you've got Zach, go! No matter, like, if you're using it for corporates, if you're using it for personal growth, it just, it will give you something amazing that you can practically use the moment you step out of the conference. There's a set of tools, a set of skills, a set of exercises that help us improve how we are connected to the world and how we can rapidly understand what's going on and what can be done about it. Beautiful. My name is Amy Angelilli and I came here to find my tribe. So then I started putting up um, other kinds of, and notice I say play shop instead of workshop, because basically that's what we were doing. We weren't working, we were playing. And I was doing, just kind of fooling around with different, different themes. And, and, um, and, and through that, I started this business, the adventure project at the beginning of the year. I couldn't even describe to people what the heck I was doing. Like I'm helping people have adventures. And so, oh, you're in Colorado, so you're helping people you know, go into the back country and do, you know, REI kinds of things. I'm like, no, I'm just helping people open up. <laughs> I'm playing games with people. But I couldn't even quite wrap my head around what I was doing, but I knew I was doing something through play. And um, somehow, one day at my desk, I came across AIN. And I thought, holy crap, that's what I'm doing. That, I'm applying improv, and me so naively thought, after years of performing, I thought the only application for improv is in corporate team building. What we do is fun, but people don't always understand the value behind what we do. And because I don't work in a corporate setting, I work in camps, in yoga studios, in out-of-the-box locations where I'm encouraging adults to play, it's often seen as a luxury rather than as a necessity. Once I realized what I was doing, then I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna put up improv for introverts. I'm not gonna call it that because no one will come, yeah. right? <laughs> improv for singles, think about a cool name for that. Um, and then I, I uh, happened across the most amazing thing to me and in, in my work, improv for mindful living, because I have such a hard time getting to mindfulness on the yoga mat, I can't turn off my head, and, but in improv, like, I'm forced to interact with people who are depending on me to be present, so it's like this beautiful way to mindfulness off the mat through play. It's like, my God, like, look at the applications. They're, they're just endless. So, um, in... In June, I was a camp counselor at a summer camp for adults called Camp Grounded. And um, I led improv play shops in the woods, in the redwoods, the most amazing place to play. And it was great, and it was all this like amazing personal development, non-work. Um, and three, three months later, I was putting up the Improv for Mindful Living play shop in Berkeley. And one of the campers, came to the play shop who I thought was living in Atlanta and it turns out um, a month after she left camp she relocated to the Bay Area because she had been unhappy living in Atlanta and wanted so badly to relocate but couldn't say yes to herself and by playing in the woods with me in that camp experience doing improv it she learned how to say yes, not to other people, but to herself and her, her own life and what she wanted out of her own life. And she's so much happier being where she is now. So I brought my cape from camp. <laughs> and the reason why this is an important prep <laughs> is because at camp, we were taught to empower our campers and to find the superpower that everyone has 
and let them run free with that in the woods. But what I'm saying to all of you is that you are superheroes. All of us are superheroes. And it doesn't matter how many people here are at AIN for the first time. Please stand up. This is awesome. I'm so happy to see so many first timers. And I want you guys to create your best superhero stance in your improv cape. <laughs> and I want you all to cheer these guys on for being here for the first time. I want you to